All right. Excuse me while I wipe up the blood from my earlobe. That is HacksRadio.com. The stream that allows the FBI to reach sexual fulfillment. Good Lord, it's Friday. Big shout out, Mr. E. Fixer, the crew. We'll start off with the wannabes. Google got owned? No. A few Algerian script kiddies uh, tried, however, to spit fake rumors that they hacked and defaced the giant search engine Google Iranian, the domain at www.google.ir. As above, a uh, screenshot shown an Algerian flag on it, and the page titled Hacked by Vega Hacker. Well, evidently it's a bunch of bullshit. The Hacker News uh, technical team found that Google.co.ir possibly not belongs to Google because its site rank is 3,141,379. That means the site should ha uh, have less than 100 visitors a day. They also checked the Who Is records of the domain and found that the holder is uh, Gangina Ofag Omid Gastar Lala Estera or whatever the hell that says. Bunch of bullshit. Bunch of wannabes throwing around the anonymous flag. Trying to be somebody, didn't do shit, but put up a picture on their own domain. Moving along. Uh, news out of the UK. UK serious organized crime agency website taken offline after a DDoS attack. It's the second time in a year that the website has fallen victim to hackers. We elected to take the website offline temporarily at about 10 p.m. last night, uh, Soka spokesman said. So this would have been on Thursday night. Wednesday night, one of those nights. Anyway, uh, a Twitter news feed uh, that claimed links to the anonymous hacking collective published the DDoS on Thursday, but did not claim responsibility. Tango down, DDoS attack takes down site of UK Serious Organized Crime Agency, or SOCA. The SOCA spokesman said that no confidential information had been lost during the incident, known as a distributed denial of service attack. Well, the website's host computers are bombarded with requests for information, making them crash. Very easy to do when you hit the refresh button over and over times one million people. It's outstanding. Moving along. Six Lulzak hacker uh, has been arrested. They were charged for loss of $60,000 credit card from Stratfor. Jeremy Hammond, former Lulzak member, alleged to have been at the center of the hacking of private intelligence company Stratfor. Hammond is believed to have been the driving force behind the group's breach of intelligence from Stratch 4, which led them to the loss of some 60,000 credit card numbers from the company's servers. Strat 4 is dubbed a shadow CIA because it gathers non-classified intelligence on international crimes. Hammond's arrest was announced on March 6, along with the charges against the four suspected NSEC members, Doncha O'Cherbhale, Darren Martin of Ireland, Jake Davis, and Ryan Ackroyd of Britain. Sabu and Hammond were the only Americans involved in the case, as the other four defendants live in the United Kingdom. The data included sensitive law enforcement documents, approximately 60,000 credit card numbers from Strat4 servers, and the personal information of 860,000 Strat4 clients. Hammond and the others were accused of making at least 700,000 in unauthorized charges on stolen credit card numbers as well. A side note, Strat4 was warned to expect something like this. Anyway, moving along last but not least, hacker claims to hack the European Space Agency, NASA, the U.S. Air Force, and military French Ministry of Defense. Hackers with the group named the Unknown claim to have hacked the European Space Agency, NASA, and more. Lots of data, screenshots, and logging credentials exposed via pastebin notes, part one and two. Those links can be found at thehackernews.com if you want to check that out. Hackers commented on these hacks. We have hacked this with a reason. The security of those important sites are, is low and it's very easy to infiltrate the sites. We hope the sites will improve their defense. Full message posted by the hackers. We are the unknowns. Our knowledge, task, and wisdom listens. Victims, we have released some of your documents and data. We probably hammed you a bit, but that's not really our goal because it was then all of your websites would be completely defaced. But we know that within a week or two, the vulnerabilities we found will be patched, and that's what we're actually looking for. We are ready to give you full info on how we penetrated through your database. 
and we're ready to do this anytime, so just contact us. We'll be looking forward to this. And for all the other websites out there, we're coming. Please get ready. Protect your website and stop us from hacking it, whoever you are. Contact us before we take action, and we will help you, and we will not release anything. It's your choice now. And for the public, we are looking for your support. Support us to deliver our message to everyone out there. Well, that is the Friday edition of the Hacker's News. Much love and respect to the hackers, the whackers, and the human beings all over the planet. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe, and we'll see you again on Monday. We'll see what the Anonymous and the other hackers come up with over the weekend.